Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arit here from Esatino Artists and welcome to another Mind Thrive Thursdays video for you. In this video, we're going to talk about how to be a successful artist. Now, when I say artist, I'm addressing all of you photographers, painters, designers, musicians out there, really any creative entrepreneur that is watching this. And the reason for that is because what it takes to be a success is applicable to any individual. And the reason for that is success is 99.9% .9 mindset. It's really a state of mind. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Success is a state of mind. It's not just some cute, pretty phrase. It's actually truth. You know, a lot of uh, the way we run our lives starts up here. It really is how we think, our attitude towards everything. It really governs our actions, our, beh our behaviors. So, you know, actually, I, I, if I could just pinpoint a moment that was almost like a flip of the switch for me that really created, started to create all of the success that followed in my music career for myself, I can tell you exactly where I was, who I was with. It was, it's, it's just the clarity is there. And it was a moment in my mind where I decided that I was going to pursue a career in music, that I was going to be a singer, that I wanted to follow my passion. And it was that moment when I made that decision that I believed what I wanted was possible. And so it really comes down to mindset and attitude. And in this video, I wanna share particularly three things to do with, that's not three, that's two, three things to do with attitude that can really apply to your artistic career. So the first thing is your attitude towards your work. What is your attitude towards your work? Do you, first of all, do you feel passionate about your work? Is it something that makes you really happy? Do you, do you love it? Would you, would you do it with or without getting paid? Your attitude towards your work is extremely important. If it's not something that's, that you can, that you love doing, it's event, basically it's going to be short lived. It's not something that you are willing to take in the long haul and success is really a long journey. It's not something that happens like that. So what is your attitude towards your work? And secondly, do you believe in your talent? Do you believe in your work? If perhaps there's doubt and you know it's completely normal, if it's something that you know, you're working on that you don't completely believe in your talent right now, but you believe you can get better, that's all that matters, that you believe you can get better, that is something that's extremely important. You know, if uh, some of you might have read the book by Stephen Pressfield called The War of Art, and I actually did a, a video review on that book, which I'll put a link down below in this video. Um, Stephen Pressfield, I love how he describes it. He says that professional artists and successful artists view their work as a craft, not as art. And the reason why he says that is because artists who view their work as, as craft, really um, they, they think of it as in terms of techniques, skills. They see their work as being able to, to mold and change and get better and, and, and um, as a skill that they can improve in. And the artists who view their work as art, they get really attached to their work. They see it as them and so, whenever someone, uh, whenever a critic or someone is not accepting their work, it's almost like they're not accepting the artist and they take it personally and that can really sabotage your work. The second thing is your attitude towards success. Now, first of all, do you have a definition for your success? That is number one. Is it, it what does success look like for you? You know, successful artists have a clear vision of what they want and they set a commitment to it and, and go after it no matter what comes in their way. It's almost like they're committing to a journey of, of failure and fear and all of this stuff because they know that's what's involved in it. They know that they're going to fail. They know that there's going to be times where it's going to be really rough and scary and they have to push past it. They're not going to, they know that they can't eliminate these fears and failures, but they know that they can push past it. So successful artists really are committed to the long haul 
This is the attitude towards success that they have. And they also have a clear definition of what success looks like. You know, when I was first starting out as, um, as, as a singer, my definition of success was I want to sing in front of hundreds of people because that was something that just seemed so far away and absurd and not achievable to me that that was that pushed me towards achieving that goal and I knew I had to I had to push past fears and failures and just a lot of emotions right but I was committed to it and after I achieved that, my next definition of success was I want to go on a, on, on a tour of some sort. I didn't know what it was or where it would come from or how it would happen. But I went on a national Canadian tour. Um, and it was just something that, you know, if you're so focused on a target, you're and you're committed to it in the long haul, you're going to hit it. If you don't know where your target is, how can you hit it? So really, um, your action step for this is to really define what your success looks like, have a clear goal in mind. And the third thing is what is your attitude towards money, right? What is your attitude towards money? Is it something that you, uh, you cringe when you hear about money? Is it something that makes you feel disgusted or guilty or, um, uh, or greedy? You really have to look at your own beliefs about money. Successful artists view money as a tool, not as a result. So they see it as opportunity, as something that can take their careers and goals farther, something that can take other people around them farther. They use money as a tool to to not only progress in their own careers and become successful in their own careers, but also to help others and to share more valuable things with others. So really look at your, your beliefs and your thoughts and your reservations about money, because this is something that could really be stopping you in your career. All right, guys, so hopefully this video has shared some food for thought with you on how to be a successful artist. Um, you know, these things aren't concrete. I get that. I realize that this is really a video that just gives you some things to think about and self reflect where you are, because you won't know how to get to point B if you don't know where point A is. So I'm going to, I don't want it to just stop here in this video. I'm going to provide some resource links down in the description below for each of these things, you know, for, for you to be working on your attitude towards your work, attitude to, um, towards your success and attitude towards your, uh, towards money. Um, so check out those links in the description below. And also I would love for you to join our support group. You know, I have a thriving artist group on Facebook where we share ideas, we learn from each other, we collaborate, and it's really a place for you to, to grow and connect with others, network with other artists. So I'll also include a link down in the description below. Feel free to check it out and please do join. I'd love to hear from you. All right, have a great day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.